Hello, moon goddesses. I wanted to hop in here real quick and um, just remind you, right? We are going into the full moon. So the full moon and how we use that for manifesting. Number one is um, this is the energy of the completion. So anything that you've been working on, anything that you have been trying to manifest, ideally you would start to see it come into fruition during this full moon cycle. When you are doing your um, manifest manifestation work, right? This is what you really want to do is not try to call things in. We want to set those new intentions and call things in more so in the new moon. And I think I have a, a chart. I'm not sure if I put it in there, but I will put it in there if, I, if it's not, right? And it shows you full moon, new moon, waning, waxing moons, what kind of work you want to be doing during that time. So the way that you use the full moon to really help with your manifestations, you've just set in uh, the new moon, is to use the full moon to remove the blocks, to get rid of the stuff that is holding you back, that is keeping you stagnant, that may not actually um, allow for your intention to manifest. Because as the full moon goes away, you want that energy, you wanna use that energy to take away all of the things that are not serving you and that are keeping you from your ultimate goal or manifestation. So our, um, hey Michelle. Um, so our goal when manifesting, if you have the um, full moon oil, right? That is really good to use during the full moon because it's designed to help carry things away, to release, to help you let go of things, right? And so I want you to make sure that you're using it because it's coming in that, that uh, in the full moon kit, the um, oil. I want you to make sure that you're setting your intention to match that, right? So when you put the oil on, whatever you're putting it on, like, and I'll go into some ways to use it, but um, your intention is you are getting rid of anything stopping you from your manifestations. So I want one to sort of be in that practice of, these are my new intentions during the new moon, and on the full moon, if it has not materialized by then, then you are doing your moon work to get rid of anything that's blocking you, anything that's holding you back, anything that's stopping you. Sometimes we set new, um, sometimes we set an intention and, you know, for 30 days and in it, you discover that um, you're having some difficulties. You feel like something is holding you back, something is blocking you, right? When the full moon comes, if it hasn't fully materialized, then you definitely want to use that time, that candle work, um, that, new, that full moon energy to help you remove the blocks. So the full moon oil is designed to help you do that. If you have serious, um, if you have serious blockages, like you're dealing with people who are energy vampires, if you are dealing with addiction, if you are dealing with um, that type of energy, you may need something that is more uh, potent, right, to deal with external energies. Our full moon oil is to help you remove your own personal blocks. And so if you need something that is a little bit stronger than our full moon oil, then I recommend that you try. This is the um, banishing oil. If you're doing some heavy duty work, for the most part, if you've gotten a full moon kit, that full moon oil is gonna help you banish your own issues. Like I said, addiction, um, maybe laziness, maybe lack of consistency, um, those types of things. So it can help. But I just wanted to remind you guys to stay in that energy. So some of the ways, and this is the banishing oil that I have in my hand, it's not the full moon oil, 
but some of the ways that you can use this if you wherever it is that you light your candles and you do your journaling and you keep things that are sacred to you it's considered an altar right and so I do that we all should have a space where it's not going to be disturbed by cats and dogs and kids and husbands <laughs> um, so clean your altar with your banishing oil or your full moon oil right by just putting a few drops all my oils are made with essential um, oils and so you're not going to have with usually like a base of like jojoba or almond oil or grapeseed oil something like that so it's not going to damage your your furniture but you want to wipe everything down here darling it's going to fall um you want to wipe everything down right you want to, you can use it to anoint your candle <laughs> you know what i do remember you having um you remember out has been an issue like an ongoing issue for you <laughs> maybe one of those those little adapters that you put in the house that amplifies the signal and I'm saying that but I don't know what it's called or where to get it but I know that they have one where like if your router is downstairs but you can put one like on the wall or somewhere in the corner upstairs all it does is amplify the connection so that you can um, you can stay connected but um, the other thing is a pen, full moon, my pen is black, so I love scepter pens, right? So when I'm writing and I'm journaling and I am releasing things, I specifically use my black scepter. And so you can anoint this pen with your oil, your full moon oil, whatever pen that you're using to journal right like what are you releasing that's how you get really clear that's how you set the intention the intention is what am I releasing what is holding me back what are the things that no longer serve me so I do that I anoint my pen I anoint my paper um, if I can get my intention into two lines <clears throat> I will write that on a separate piece of paper and either put it under the candle or especially during the full moon I like to you know I like to burn everything right but I set that aflame and so hopefully we're gonna be able to do that um, this full moon in like a little fire pit or in my cauldron or something right if you guys are able to come so we can um, burn it let it go and re release yourself from it um, so I just wanted to come in and and remind you of what you're focusing on for the full moon. If you don't have the new moon oil or you are having a hell of a time getting rid of some things or you have serious blocks, then I want you to, this is, I call it the bitch be gone black banishing oil, right? So this helps specifically with people with addictions and things like that you're going to want this because it's more of a heavy hitter in terms of the formulation and the oils and the herbs and the crystals that are used the full moon oil are for banishing and releasing things within yourself that are no longer serving you so there's there's two oils that can help during this full moon cycle depending on what it is that you are releasing and with your oils you want to clean your area or your altar with it you can anoint your pen you can anoint your it's called a petition um, or your journal um, and your candle and um, if you need reminders you can you know you can put it on your hands you can do um, a releasing bath prior to and you could put a few drops in your bath. You can um, wear it during this full moon cycle, you know, just as a body oil to help you stay in the energy of letting that shit go. So those are some things that you can do with it. Um, if you are using a crystal as like a, a reminder to kind of recharge you day to day, then you want to anoint your crystal with it and keep that with you um, throughout the day. So every time you touch it, right, you're reactivating the fact that this is the shit that I am letting go. I'm releasing these things out of my life 
during this period so that you can make the space to manifest what it is that you want to manifest. So if you guys have any questions, let me know as usual. If you'd like to get the Bitch Be Gone Black Banishing Oil, um, just send me a text message. And um, I'm going to drop in the Moon Cycle chart if I have not already. And uh, tomorrow I will have some more specific information for you here and on the meetup about um, our actual meetup. So hopefully some of you guys could show up. So love you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Talk to you soon.